taking. Parental alienation is an injustice. It needs to be recognized as exactly that, an injustice. To tear the child-parent relationship is an injustice. And the fact that your legislators think parental rights do not matter is an injustice. That's why this happens. It's because your state senator that said he supports strong value values, he says parental rights don't matter. Your state representative who says they want to work hard for the future of the children, he says parental rights don't matter. They won't tell you that. They're not going to admit it, but they've said it. And it's repeated over and over again. An example of that is a law you probably don't know about called the Currently Serving Requirements of the Pennsylvania Post-Conviction Relief Act. This law has been used to sever the relationship of parent and children. It has been used to terminate their rights in court, to erase them from the birth certificate they signed. And it just continues and is ignored. To give you an example of how this works, I need you to imagine. Imagine you are the targeted parent, and you know they pull all types of tactics. They use name calling, they use manipulation, and sometimes they use that false criminal allegation playing on the sympathy of the courts, making up lies to put you in jail so they can terminate that child-parent relationship. And then they go and they commit perjury so that you are convicted of a crime that you did not commit. Now you are in jail. And they have now gone farther and petitioned the courts to terminate your parental rights with more lies and more perjury. So now you've lost your freedom. You've lost a clean, clean uh, criminal record. But then you've lost the most important thing at all, your rights to your child. There's nothing more important than that. But the legislator says it doesn't matter. How could they do that? How could they allow such laws that sever the most sacred thing on this earth? Because they think parental rights don't matter. Now what gets even worse is after that result happens, the wrongfully person who's spent time in jail, they lost their rights to their child, they have a criminal record, they all of a sudden have evidence to prove all of this was based on lies. They've discovered the evidence that could exonerate them, that could get their child back. They petition the courts, and then the courts say, your case is moved because you're not currently serving a sentence of imprisonment, probation, or parole. Okay, moot is their fancy way of saying, it doesn't matter. So when you want to tell them, it does matter, I lost the rights to my child. They say, well, because of what the legislator said, it doesn't matter. And they are wrong. It does matter. Now we got a big fight. And it's not just in the courts. It's not just with parents. It's the people who are giving them the power to do it. It's the legislators. It's the senator that you elected. The state representative that you elected are the ones responsible for parental alienation. They're the ones allowing this to happen. They need to get their pens and paper and write down the laws to fix this and change this. And they need to recognize the parental rights.